So when I heard that Nike had a trail sneaker that had Zoom X technology in the midsole, I was actually pretty stoked because you guys know that Zoom X is fairly lightweight. So I wanted to give you guys a review from a casual perspective of the Nike Zoom X Zagama, if that's how you say the name. Let's go ahead and get into it. So weighing in at 10.9 ounces, the Nike Zoom X Zagamas fit true to size in my opinion, and it is a really fun experience on feet. Now it's not the crazy Zoom X that you might think when you think of like the Invincible Run, because those things are absolutely ridiculous. The max cushion of the Zoom X is insane on those. This doesn't have that sort of a feel. It's actually much, much more muted in the trail version. Uh, but it doesn't mean it's not there and it's not impactful. And so it's actually something I was pretty impressed with as I was wearing these things. They look very similar to the Nike Pegasus Trail 4s, which is a new model for this year as well that I'm gonna be reviewing. So stay tuned to the channel, subscribe, and I will be comparing these two as well as some other popular Gore-Tex sneakers on the market. This one is not Gore-Tex though. I wish that they had a Gore-Tex version of these. I'm sure they'll have one soon because that would be one of the things that I would say uh, is needed. But let's go ahead and get in some tech specs about the Nike Zoom X Zagama. These retail at $160 and it says navigate the ups and downs of uncompromising terrain with the Zoom X Zagama. Developed with great grip and stability, it has you covered so you can keep climbing and reach greater personal heights when the going out gets grimy and gritty. Whether it's a challenging rock landscape going uphill or a steep, slick decline down a treacherous trail, feel confident when you decide to off-road it. A lightweight Nike Zoom X midsole combines with an increased stack height to help provide cushioning during extended stretches of running. A deeper diverse lug pattern highlighted with wide spacing gives you traction for more technical trains. Engineered mesh that is stronger and more flexible than regular mesh on the upper and internal heel to help provide stability for various trails. It also has an ankle gaiter to help prevent uh, trail debris and overlay stretching across the toe for extra durability. So what I will tell you is that I'm not a trail runner. So if you're looking for like a diehard trail running sneaker and you need to know if this is the shoe, there's probably other channels that have a deep dive into the trail running aspect. I did run in these sneakers. I wasn't on any crazy trails or anything like that through a rigorous park that had an uneven a terrain of uh, asphalt and a little bit of grass. Ultimately, I didn't do anything crazy in them, but they felt good on feet and that's the one takeaway that I wanted to share with you guys. A couple of the things I really like about the shoe, well, the midsole is definitely the highlight of the shoe being Zoom X. As I said though, it does feel a little bit muted because of maybe the lugs on the midsole. Or maybe it's not even 100% Zoom X. I honestly don't know. Nike's really tricky with their verbiage of like, it's Zoom X, but then it's like React and other things. Uh, it, this is Zoom X, but it doesn't look like the Zoom X we've seen on other models. It does feel nice on feet. I do like the reinforcement across the toe box since it's supposed to be a trail shoe. You do need a little bit of extra reinforcement there. And the outsole traction is nice as well. It's some nice big lug patterns on the bottom of the shoe. A couple of things I really didn't love about the shoe to be 100% honest, the way that the tongue gathers together, it's not very stretchy. It's kind of difficult to pull up and get on your foot. Maybe it's just me, but I like a little bit of a stretchier tongue action going on here. It's not uncomfortable per se, but it's a very low tongue. I wish the tongue was a little bit higher and a little bit more stretchy, but that's just my personal preference. Also, Nike keeps on bringing the gaiters back here around the collar. I'm kind of impartial to it though. I don't really love the look of it and how weird it is to get the shoe on with that flimsy little collar around, but once it's on, it doesn't feel flimsy or anything. It just, it's just a little bit different when you're putting it on. Maybe it's like such an added benefit that I don't even notice the benefit. That could be a big possibility. But I noticed that they're using this quite a bit. They have the same thing on the Pegasus Trails as well. Something I didn't really get used to on the Pegasus Trail 2s either. And that was a little bit more low cut. Since it's a little bit higher, it's a little bit less of a nuisance than on the trails at least. Now the new Trail 4s, I'll have a review on again. And that might just be the same as these. Not very noticeable in a good way uh, because the uh, trails look like they're a little bit higher in the fourth version than the second one that I have. The only other thing that I would say that I don't really love about the shoe is the fact that they don't have the Gore-Tex version yet. I'm sure they're gonna have one. The engineered mesh is probably okay on here. It says it's reinforced. I don't know truly how durable it actually is because ultimately it just looks like engineered mesh on a large portion of the upper. If you hit a rock or something, I would imagine these things scraping up, but maybe I'm wrong. If you guys have durability issues or durability uh, tests that you say like this is like actually held up really well, leave a comment for other people to see. I would say overall comfort rating of the shoe, it's better than the Pegasus Trail 2s in my opinion, a little bit softer on feet, a little bit more bouncy, but not like crazy, crazy bouncy. I would actually say it's almost in line with the Terex Free Hikers, just a little bit bouncier on feet than the Terex Free Hikers, which these things are absolutely beasts. I love these things. In fact, they have a new version that just came out that I'll be reviewing on the channel. So stay tuned if you guys wanna see that because the Terex Free Hiker has been one of my favorite go-to sneakers for trail. 
uh, just in general. Like it's just a great all around thing. And this feels a little softer on feet than even the Adidas Boost technology, which you think is a really big feat, but at the end of the day, is it? Because Boost is a much, much firmer compound than Zoom X is, but it only felt slightly better on this one over this one. However, it's felt just enough that it gives you a nice little spring back and it is welcome. And it's better than some of the other things out there, at least that I've tried. Now there's other companies that have much softer and bigger foam stacks. I think the Hero 7s probably have a little bit softer feel than even these have on them. And Fresh Foam X is not even the softest thing. Fuel Cell is from New Balance. So it'll be interesting to square them up when I get my um, Hero 7s in. So the comfort of the shoe, I'd give probably like a seven and a half out of 10. It's not like crazy, crazy good, but it's not bad. The aesthetic look of the shoe, I'd give maybe a seven out of 10. I don't really love it, but it's not bad. And the colorway is just crazy enough and weird that I actually kind of dig it. It's just a bunch of hodgepodge stuff that actually goes together pretty well, but they do have a black and white colorway that might be a little bit simpler for most people out there. As some alternative options, I would say that the Pegasus Trails, the Hero V7s, and then for a taller boot-like version, the Adidas Terex Free Hikers or the Free Hiker 2s. But uh, all in all, I think these are a pretty nice shoe. Final thoughts, I'd say not bad for $160. It's a shoe that could have been 180 and they decided to do a lower price point, which I totally welcome. And I think that Overall, this is gonna be a nice competition for the Pegasus Trails uh, for those that like those shoes but want something just a little bit softer. Forgot to get into the support of this shoe, but it does feel very supportive. It's very stable and the support again is there. So definitely nice uh, to have that, which is part of the reason why it probably feels a little bit firmer as well. But all in all, if you're looking for a trail sneaker, one for walking, running or whatever, I'd say this is probably a good option to give a try. Leave a comment in the comment section if you guys agree or disagree, if you've tried them or not. And then if you guys wanna buy a pair of them, check the link in the description. You can buy your own from Nike. But thank you guys for stopping by and watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully we'll see you back on the channel for some more videos very soon. All right, peace guys.